So we have reached the end of 2022. It's been over three weeks since my last video, and I'll be honest, I was holding out until the last minute, hoping we would get something from Riot regarding their highly anticipated MMORPG set in the magical world of Runeterra. Alas, we got nothing. You get nothing! Which is fine. Honestly, I'll be fine, I promise. Over the weekend, we did have some interesting news regarding potential races. Spoiler alerts, it it's looking like a fake leak, as well as some official news regarding what potential news updates we are going to see for the rest of the next year. I'd also like to go over what the next year is going to look like for myself, the future of the channel, and why I think 2023 is going to be a great year for us. As always, take a deep breath, hold back those tears, sit back, relax, and smash that subscribe button. It's time for the latest Riot MMO news and a yearly recap. As always, if you like this kind of content, head on over to our community Discord where the discussion is, I swear, going 24-7, getting pings while I'm in the middle of my sleep. It's really a great time and I look forward to seeing some more of you over there. First off, at the beginning of this weekend, we had a very interesting post made on Twitter by the user Riot Julie Draven, where they were showing a very interesting graphic showing the the Riot MMO RPG possible species. The post really gained some traction when Mark Yetter liked it, basically blowing up everywhere on Twitter, including my DMs. This Twitter account went on even further to confirm that the game was third person, what the mounts will look like, and that the game will be coming out sooner than you may think. A direct quote from Canon on his Twitter. Well, at first glance, this may look like a very professionally done image made by a Riot Games game developer, and may potentially even have some good info on possible races or species. I did do some more digging though, and like I usually do, I got down to the bottom of how legit it actually was. Now, as always, I cannot say for 100% certainty, but given two key elements, I can pretty much confirm that this is fan art at best. First off, the Twitter account is not followed by a single other Riot dev. This would be the first time I've ever seen this from the hundreds of other rioters that are active on Twitter. So either the person is a real loser and has no friends at work, which would, I guess, make sense if they're going to leak some of the most top secret information around one of the most highly anticipated games coming from the studio, or it's just complete bullshit account. Second, the high level of unprofessionalism in regards to confirming information that is not actually confirmed anywhere else on an account that at the time only had about a hundred followers is just not Riot's way. Everything they talk about, whether online or in interviews, is constantly tagged with the, this is not confirmation of anything in the game, or this is all my personal thoughts and opinions and should not be taken as regarding the Riot MMO directly. Now, for a random account to state that this is in fact factual seems like a long stretch and if it is a riot account it, they're not going to be working for riot much longer now at the end of the day i cannot confirm with 100 percent certainty that this person is not employed by riot i mean hell maybe they cleaned the toilets there and found some notes in the trash but if i was a betting man i would say that this is not legit and at best is just a fun representation of species we may or may not be seeing in the riot mmo something that i obviously enjoy doing as well the difference being that i don't impersonate myself as a Riot game developer, but either way, congrats on the viral post. In slightly more exciting news, or at least in my opinion, we got to see a survey that is being shown to players who are playing Wild Rift. This survey was clearly directed at two choices. Now, I cannot confirm this is directly regarding the MMO, but given the timing and the questions posed, it really seems likely. The two choices for the questions seem to be directed at these two choices. Hard, competitive, skill-based gameplay versus open world, art, story, character customization and farming. These are two distinct directions MMOs generally take. Some of the questions posed in the survey were, do you enjoy teaming up with other players? Do you enjoy caring for pets or developing friendships with NPCs? Or do you enjoy challenging, focus-driven goals? Now, I don't particularly think this says too much about the MMO, but it does really show that they are doing their research and want to provide a game that we, the players, will thoroughly enjoy for many years to come. Last up, we have the unfortunate confirmation that Riot are in fact done for the year. In their statement titled Riot is taking a break till the end of the year, they went over some of their accomplishments, everything from the success of Worlds to their charities and partnerships. They ended the article by stating, we're excited for the new year and all of the new things it will bring. So for now, we're signing off for a couple of weeks and a promise. A promise to rest up, recharge, and come back in a few
few weeks to kick things off with a season start full of energy and excitement for a brand new year full of new beginnings. Now, this is the part of the video where I send it off to you guys with a question. Are you excited for 2023? What sort of new beginnings do you think Riot is talking about? Finally, I wanted to thank you all who watch my videos. This was my first year making content and it has been an absolute wild ride. We've covered all sorts of topics, had many highs and <laughs> many, many lows, but at least for me, it has all been worth it. And I wanted to thank you all for such an amazing year. Remember, we are just getting started. 2023 is going to be even bigger for me. I will be setting an official schedule for video releases, expanding the spun.gg website to include guides, articles, merch, and so much more. Streaming on an even more expanded schedule over on Twitch, so make sure you're following me there. And as always, providing you with even more MMO and especially Riot MMO content. Now, with all that said, I am signing out. Thank you again. And as always, my name is Spun, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.